Hi friends, welcome to my channel and an unboxing video and it's a beautiful day outside. Very cold though, but yeah, it's the sun's out, the sky's blue, only a few clouds and I'm doing a dark deck <laughs> opening. <laughs> it, seems as, it seems a little bit strange, but that's the way of it. So I've recently bought this deck. I don't know if anybody's seen it before called the Santa Muerte. And it's, if I take the cellophane off first and stop the glare. So, Santa Muerte, dark. I don't know what that word says. It's by, art by, Dario Moss. And there's the website and information on the back of the card there very glossy box and what i thought would be nice <laughs> a bit of fun is to do a side by side with the santa moeta mass Marquis edition um tarot deck it's got its own bag oh, no. pretty and yeah this is the one that's quite easily available fabio listrani great artist love his work and I thought let's just have a little look at it side by side so this one is very beautiful beautifully illustrated look at the gold there and all the roses and the box comes off like so and um, there's probably been loads of walkthroughs of this deck so that's not what I'm doing here just get the cards out um, so yeah that's the box it's Los Carabello and this is the book and of course it's in four languages so it looks like you're getting more than you're actually getting but let's see how many pages you do get okay 52 53 so not too bad but yeah we've got lots of different languages here um, when was this produced to 2021 this one is so that's the guidebook. Beautiful backs. And these are the cards. Okay, so quite a big difference in size probably. Let's have a look. What does it say? Complete 80 card deck. So there's an extra two cards with divinatory instructions. So we've got... Like a death mask there with roses. So that sort of echoes the roses on the Santa Moeta. Let's delve in. Okay. Alright, so it's just a tuck box, nothing special there. And that's it's got Queen of Crystals on the top card. Are they not in order? They're not in order. All right, I tell you what I'll do is I'm going to now pause the video and put them in order so we can go through them side by side. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, I've sorted them into order now, so we're good to go. <laughs> and yeah, they seem to... Okay, let's just start with the cards, the cardstock itself. As the cardstock on this is dreadful. Almost... Well, it's not paper thin, but it's very, very flimsy. So, that's not very good, really. Um, but the artwork looks to be stunning. Um, the cardstock on the Santa Muerte Tarot Mass Market is really thick. So, if you look just sort of side by side on, that is just on the major arcana there. You can see the difference in the cardstock thickness they're about the same size yeah they're the same height whereas the Santa Marta mass market is a little bit wider so yeah that's the difference there so let's get on to the good bit which is the imagery okay so I think what I'll do is silent walk through with a bit of music and then I'll come back and share my thoughts and have a look at the guidebook. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, so these are the backs of the cards here. I've got like an hourglass motif. The artwork on this deck is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. It reads more like, um, I would say more like a pip deck. Um, oh, some of these images are just wow. And I love Fabio Istrani's depictions as well. They're so vibrant, whereas these are a little bit more of a muted palace here so you know considering it's the same uh, theme as in Santa Muerte completely different ways of depicting that energy um, and I like both <laughs> what can I say I like both I think they're gorgeous both decks are absolutely gorgeous I'm very disappointed with the cardstock on this one on this Santa Muerte um, and I'm not going to shuffle it because I'm a, I'm a little bit nervous about shuffling it to be fair um, I don't know how it would hold up so what I think I'm going to do is shuffle the mass market Fabioli Strane draw a card and then look at both guidebooks for the same card so that's my plan we have a difficult one, the Five of Swords. Okay, so let's find the Five of Swords, which in this deck are crystals. So, Wands are candles, Cups are potions, Swords are crystals, I'm looking for the Five, and Dream Catchers are pentacles. Okay, so these are the two images. So the guidebook for the Santa Muerte, what does this one say? The swords represent intellectual energy and rationality, therefore all of the aspects that are associated with language, the word, and the world of ideas and knowledge. Even communications and culture are the direct consequences of the actions of this suit. Yellow is the colour that identifies these cards while the head is the part of the body that corresponds with this suit. Okay, so let's find the five. A great inner conflict is afflicting us and makes us feel humiliated. Fleeing or fighting seems to us to be the only way to deal with this situation. It will only be through acquiring a new point of view and following the flow of the battle that we will manage to undermine this negative destiny improving ourselves and exiting the crisis strengthened and enriched and then it's got the advice of the dead 
This is not the moment to oppose what seems to be adverse, but to follow its movements and its flow, exploiting it to your advantage. And then in this one, we've got like something coming up out of the Maya here and grabbing the skull. And with the energy with the crystals um, seems to come from above. Um, I don't know if you noticed in the... Let me see. In the candles, the energy was emanating out sideways. Yeah, lots of energy going on. Um, in the potions, we had sort of like wavy lines, which I presume is to indicate water. And the dream catchers. Find some dream catchers. Were feathers, beads, and it's like the beads were the energy in this in this suit here. Beautiful cards, beautiful. Okay, five of crystals. Um, destruction is the key word. Upright position, basic meanings. Anxiety, meanness, fear, humiliation, loss, collapse of plans. You have a black streak in your life. You are unlucky in anything. Oh dear. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Reversed. You are suffering very much. Close people and friends are not able to help solving your problems. Selfishness and a sense of your own cons consummation destroy you. So you don't get very much um, information in the book, to be fair, there's very, very little, even in the uh, Major Arcana, there's not an awful lot. Um, I think it's quite a pippish deck. Um, if you know how to read tarot, it's not going to present a problem. There's enough information, I think, in the cards to actually give you a clue. I mean, that's quite obvious. <laughs> um I think the major arcana are really good. The minors, there's not always correlating to what, like a Rider Waite Smith system. It's um, there's a few cards. I don't find them now. I mean, the two of candles that that works. That really works, doesn't it? Um, but some of them really don't. <laughs> Uh, they would be very confusing if you didn't know the base meanings um, of tarot. I think you'd have a little bit of difficulty, especially these potion cards. But, you know, I mean, eight of potions there. I don't see how you get the eight of cups from that. I don't know. I don't know how you get the eight of cups from that. But anyway, they are gorgeous cards. I think you'd read more sort of intuitive with these cards. Whereas Fabio's cards are really easy. If you know tarot, they are so easy to read. I mean, look at that for the two pentacles. And I like the way in the cups with this, let's find some cups. The way the cups are depicted with the top of the head or the top of the skull. I thought that was beautiful the way that's done. <laughs> for the Knight of Swords, a sword eater. <laughs> I think the uh, knight cards, the knights in this deck, in Fabio's deck, are much, much easier to see the energy than they are in the Santa Muerte book, uh, deck. I think those are, can be a little confusing, although, I mean, that, magici that magician's everything. He really is. Some of these major arcana cards are absolutely on. Oh, they're great. They're so cool. I also noticed that the uh, colours sort of change at the bottom as well, according to suit. So they're dark, quite dark in the in the pentacles, in the dream catchers, whereas in the candles they are quite light. But then they, as the suit progresses, I don't know. I don't know if it's a printing error or if it means something, but some of them are definitely lighter in colour at the bottom than they are in other cards which seems strange I can't see the correlation for that 
And so these are the two guidebooks. Um, quite a bit of difference there, although, as I said, there's what it's tiny, tiny writing in here. Um, and it is 25, 25 pages of text. There are a couple of extra cards. Now, I'll show you these. So, the two extra cards are Santa Muerte and Sacrifice. Now, in Fabio's deck, Santa Muerte is the death card. Whereas in this one, it's an extra card. So, for Santa Muerte, it says, upright position. You are under the auspices of higher powers. They will help you find the true path and bestow protection. Listen to your intuition. Reversed. It seems to you that the whole world is against you. You think your angel has left you. Your lesson is to think it over and decide for yourself. You must learn to take responsibility for your actions. Angel advice. Even if it seems that you are left alone, you are not. One has only to listen to your inner voice. Now that is absolutely beautiful messages for that one. And then for sacrifice, upright position. There comes a period in your life when things or relationships come to an end because nothing lasts forever. But as the last rays of the sun at sunset give light, there is hope for the beginning of something new, something that you did not expect. And then reversed, it seems to you that your problems will never end. Depression and despair have engulfed you, but the black streak is already coming to an end and there is not much to wait. Sacrifice at Advice. Morning always replaces the night sooner or later. Prosperity will replace problems and disappointments. So really positive messages in there, which I love. Um, I can't wait to play with that deck, actually, and see how it reads. But what do you think? I mean, have you got a preference for the art style? I'm so just so disappointed in the cardstock. I mean, if you put them side by side, you can really see the difference. And the printing is a little bit off as well, like I said, with the colouring. Um, this one obviously has borders. This is, I like the way this is done because although there's a border at the bottom to actually show you what card we're looking at, the top is borderless. I think that's genius. Beautiful deck. I've got the oracle as well that goes with that. Um, but I do love Fabio's art. I think it's gorgeous. But I also like this art. I think this is gorgeous as well. So... There you go. There's two different options for the Santa Muerte tarot deck. <laughs> I got this one off eBay, by the by. So I think it was quite easy to come across. And I thought, let's let's have a little look. So, yeah, thank you for watching my video and sharing my little walkthrough and exploration of this new deck in my collection. Until the next time, thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.